welcome back to the channel welcome to Peter Stalker Northumberland tonight I've just had this week some absolutely monstrous seas blowing on our side of the coast huge huge easterlies south easterlies there's been some absolutely brilliant bags getting caught um, well over 20 pound bags and fish best i've heard report was about i think it was one that went over double figures actually so there's a lot of decent cod about at the minute um, this particular mark that i'm fishing well before going on to that the, the sea here the sea was still very very big yesterday and it's dropped off a lot today um, i checked this mark out early on this morning at low water and the seas dropped quite a lot even since then so but it looks like there's a lot there's absolutely loads of color in the water and there's still a good amount of movement and this is the first time i've actually fished this this particular gully i've fished this area loads over the years and i've been eyeing this gully up on on google maps and i thought the next time the seas looking favorable i need to get up there and give it a shot so here i am probably got about another I don't know hour and a half to low water it's a very narrow gully I mean it's probably I don't know 40 50 yards wide so there's no there's no width to it I'm not I'm don't think it's gonna be particularly deep but I'm not that bothered because it's dark well it's almost pitch black and there's loads of color in the water so if the fish are there they're not they're not going to be too fussed about the depth of it at all so what i'm doing here i've got the usual selection of bait i've got a this is a frozen crab that i collected during the summer so i've got a bit of crab and i've got some cart wings i'm just going to cut those few small sections get this crab cut in half bind a bit of cart onto the side and away we'll go and i'm going to bait two rigs up to start with because i've never fished this mark i don't know what the pull is going to be like i mean it's essentially a rock mark with a nice gully in so i don't i'm not expecting a lot of pull like you'd get off a, on a beach um, but i want to have two rigs ready just so i can hold the rod and obviously hopefully if i get into the fish i can double pat unclip the rig get another bait straight back out there and not lose any time because there's been so many f good fish around cod as well as codling so fish over six pound and ideally we're on a cod hunt tonight because i'd like to catch a cod not a codling but i will settle for a codling but because there's been some better fish around i've stepped up from a usual four row mustard viking and i've actually gone for a six o because i do know I've, I've sort of trialed these a couple of weeks and i do know that they've got a heavier gauge on them but they will bend out of a snag as well second one what i've done as well this time on my rigs if you watch the channel you've probably noticed that i'm a bit of a fan of just the all through pulley with a crimp but I've, I'm using a 50 pound amnesia hook length because I do find with amnesia, even though it's only 50 pound, it's got quite a thick diameter. It goes, it's very sort of supple. And for those, of, for those of you that use it, you'll know what I mean. It's got a really kind of, it feels like it's really, really abrasion resistant. So instead of just the single pull through with a crimp, I'm going for a separate hook length. Two bigs rated up, rated up, two bigs rigged up and baited up. Combination between rig and bait, I think. One of them can hang on the tripod, the other one's getting straight out. So let's get out there and see if there's anything here. Never fished here, really hoping there is. Good conditions. The weather compared to what it's been this week, I've been lucky again. The past few sessions I've been out, I've been so lucky. Wind's completely dropped. Um, it's going to be cold, but that's fine. I think I'm probably going to get quite a decent star display as well tonight. So anyway, waffling as usual. Let's get my hands cleaned. And let's get some baits out there. Right, so we've got a 
probably a three and a half, four foot pulley rig, six ounce gripper, rotten bottom, nice crab and cart wing bait out there. Let's get it out. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna blast this because I think I just really want to be in the mouth of this gully, so let's see. So I reckon I've probably put that, I don't know, 50, 60 yards, something like that, not particularly far. I think based on looking at Google Maps and from what I can see here, I need fairly precise casting because as I say, this gully's narrow. And if I go too far to one side, I'm just gonna end up going into the area where it starts to shallow up again. So I'm just gonna try and keep it fairly accurate if I can. Not always easy in the dark, of course, but. Just had a knock here. Felt like a cord nod as well. Come on. Yep, someone's having a go there. Just wanted to bite a little bit more. It's just quite tentative at the minute, but... Ooh, yep. I've got a first cast within five minutes. New, new gully. Doesn't feel a bad fish either. Doesn't feel a bad fish. I just need to keep him moving. Come on, up you come. He's, oh, come on, up you come. Just got to be a bit careful just in front of us where this ledge is so I, I kind of keep him moving but I, I don't want to go too aggressive because I don't want to lose him because with braid very very easy to pull hooks well that that is an incredibly satisfying start to a session at a mark I've never fished but suspect that it might fish in decent conditions and what am I rewarded with? Nice. Northumberland, Codlin, probably, I don't know what, two pound, two and a quarter. He's absolutely nailed that bait. The other reason, of course, of using a nice, thick diameter hook length is because cod certainly do have teeth. And when they, when they gob the bait like that, take it deep, you will get a bit of abrasion resistance, so get in. If there's one, shouldn't say it, but hopefully there'll be more. Couldn't wish for a better start than that, could I? Must have been in the right spot. And again, I just want to... This, for, for me, this is more about... more about aim. These nights are just sort of nights as a cod fisherman in the winter you just you can't get any better day after a massive sea still plenty of movement loads of color not a breath of wind and based on the first cast a few fish about so let's just hope we can pull another one out best of the season so far is a shade under four for the hard last week, which, you know, nice, nice fish, good eating size, but I'd really like to get something at six plus. Oh, just been getting a knock there, bloody hell. Oh. God, that was a good bite. Come on, go again. God, that was some bite, that. And as usual, Pick your rod up, and it all goes quiet. Right, come on. And as I say, I'm not, I'm not casting far at all here. But distance tonight, marks like this, absolutely does not matter.
of that last fish again absolutely nailed both of those hooks that 6 and the 2 just measured him he's slightly smaller at 39 but he's legal size legal size 35 for a cod so there he is lovely well a cod codling i should say not quite big enough well nowhere near big enough to be fair but absolutely perfect for the pan and that mouth there slammed full 6-0 and a 2-0 to go with it for good measure so that's three casts two fish decent bite on the second cast and i've only been fishing probably just over an hour so if i can get a couple more or well more than a couple more but something decent size i'll be well pleased Whoop, just getting another bite there and a little bit of slack too busy waffling on as usual and david oh i missed it damn I was just biting away there, I just pulled into it slightly early. Ah. <laughs> Annoying, right. I've only moved the bait probably a couple of foot, so... If that fish hasn't completely stripped that hook, I'm just going to leave that for a little bit and hope, hope that it comes back. There's no more annoying than missing a bite, is there? Quite happy with where that went there to be fair that uh, that was pretty much in that nice dark patch got a good feeling about that cast shouldn't say that of course but I feel like it went right where I wanted it to I'm actually I don't know if I'm just getting old or lazy or what, but back's a little bit sore today actually. It's met up with um, Slippy Limpets yesterday and spent most of the day doing a bit of casting stuff, which, which was really good, really enjoyed it. Great, great crack. Um, but <laughs> suffering a little bit today, my back's quite, uh, quite stiff between my shoulder braids, so got a chance tonight I think I'm just gonna take a load off as the Americans say and just sit down for a while but so far to be fair it's been pretty much non-stop so what I've done on that one of my hook lengths I've just cut it because I noticed with those fish taking the bait so deeply there was a bit of a abrasion on my hook length so I've just cut it back a little bit. There's nothing worse than if you get a bite strike and your hooks are gone and you've maybe lost a good fish because you hadn't checked your, your hook lens. Just had a hell of a bite here. Pat nearly pulled the, pulled the rod out to stand that. Yep, got him. That was an absolutely screaming bite, that. Oh no, out of there, come on. Need to get a little bit closer. Keep them coming. Doesn't feel a bad fish, this. He's woken up a little bit. Just need to keep him moving through that heavier ground. Oof. Ah. Ah, she's hung up on something. It's probably that ledge. Oh, I don't wanna I don't wanna pull this too hard. Let me just give that a little bit of slack. He is a better one. Oh, he's definitely the best of the season. Well I think he's better than the uh than the one I had, well, the couple I had last week. He'll definitely be over four. Oh. Feast your eyes on that. Fantastic, look at that. That'll, I would hope that'll go five. And again, he's absolutely 
nailed that. That is a proper, proper fish. I'm not, I'm not going to say it's a proper cod because I haven't weighed it, and I'm not quite sure it'll make six. But either way, very, very happy with that. What a session this is turning out to be now. Whether or not I can get that out of his, um, I think he's going to be a goner. But tell you what, these slightly older fish, the teeth on them are pretty, pretty ferocious. I don't know if you can see in there. Hopefully you can. But they've got a proper set of teeth on them of cod. They're like, they're all <laughs> almost like ling teeth. Those. Right. Let's get them on hook and see what we can do with them. Because if you'll go back, I will. I will put them back. But these fish tonight they're absolutely nailing these baits i'm just going to quickly get get him measured well i'm not sure what sort of measurement i i mean he's he's well off the off the box there so right well first things first is to get another bait in the water because there's obviously some better ones there as well as the smaller ones so tide's going to be pushing now so I'm just going to have to be a little bit careful. But I nearly thought I was going to lose him. I thought the whole lot was fast, but must have just sink. I must have just been caught, and I got got the sinker back as well. So I'm just going to keep him in that pool, and hopefully he can just revive without going belly up. So keep an eye on him because fish of that size, proper breeding fish, I'd rather put it back. Really, I've got a couple for the table. I don't need too many. The tide's starting to flood now. It's not a particularly big tie, but it's definitely starting to push in. So it'll be interesting to see what it's like on the flood. The game plan tonight was to dodge around a couple of little gullies, but obviously when I've had three fish, one of which is, well, I've waded actually, it's 5-3. So, because I'm kind of exploring this mark really, I'm going to just stick it out for maybe an hour, hour and a half of the flood and just see how it goes. Just been getting a bite on, on that crab bait I put out there. I, think I might have missed it, but it wasn't a bad knock. It's quite a big bait, so even if something's had a go, there'll still be enough on there to still have a bit of scent. Be interesting to see what this next hour or so brings as the tide starts to flood. Probably small, whatever it was, because. That bigger fish nearly pulled the rod rest out of the stand. Pulled the rod rest out of the stand? Pulled the rod out of the rod rest. Got there eventually. Ooh, yep, something's definitely having a go here. Just felt a good bump there. Come on. Yep. Got him. Got him. Oh, he's not. He's not a bad one again. Right now, I've got to be a little bit careful. Oh, he's really digging deep. Ah, and he's fast on that ledge again. I'm just going to give that a bit of slack. There's definitely a ledge there that they're just going straight into. He's not a bad fish again, like, I can feel him knocking there. It's always good just to not just pull away for a break, just give everything a little bit of slack and if the fish swims in the right direction he's definitely on, I can feel it knocking but he's just caught on a ledge or well, the sink has caught on a ledge I hate pulling for a break with braid, it's just it's so risky as if the fish is only lightly hooked you're just going to rip it straight out of its mouth yep and there we go, got him moving Got him moving again. I'll just keep that pressure on. Yep, he's, he's scrapping away there. Oh, he's not a bad fish, this one. He's getting there, come on, keep moving. Keep moving. Oh, yep. No, oh, no, come on, come on. That's it, just need the next wave to help him through. Come on, nearly there. 
these fish are scrapping bloody hard I must say come on where are you Here he comes. Yeah, he's maybe about the same. Uh, he's probably. Uh, he's definitely a little bit bigger than the oh, than the first one. Whew. Yeah, he's probably a little bit bigger than the first one. No. Yep. Hooks out. Just give him a helping hand there, back at his stomach, and he might go back. Fish number. Whoop. Fish number four. Probably slightly bigger than the first one. Nailed on a frozen crab bait. Give him a quick measure, we'll get him back. So he's gone 44. Lovely fish, full of life. We'll get him back. Excellent. Right. Let's get this fella back. He was deep hooked, but he's full of life. So with a bit of luck, we'll just be able to slip him back in. And away he goes. It's cod number four. That last fish was just a touch further out, so again, I'm just gonna keep that similar sort of distance. And as this gully starts to fill, not only will the, not only will the water get deeper, but obviously as it pushes, there'll be more movement coming further up, but as well, which can only be a good thing. Maybe the flood's going to start pushing a few more fish in, seeing a bit of activity. It definitely went quiet over the uh, slack period there, but that's pretty typical of just about any fishing, really, other than maybe conger fishing. And there ain't that many of them up in this part of the world, sadly. It's been in for quite a while now. I've seen one or two little bits of movement, but well, I was going to say I don't think there's anything there, but there's a lot of weight on this actually. Oh, no, 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 what's happened there? Right. Bit of deja vu here because we've got quite a substantial uh, lobster claw and I've just missed that right at the end there it was it was on the full way I mean god look I don't know if you can see that I'm just opening that and there's there's <laughs> that's actually still a bit of power in that but this is quite often what happens with cod fishing that's a that's a meaty claw as well that I hope uh, hopefully he or she will grow it back but same thing happened last week I wouldn't have minded seeing that because that's it's not a bad size lobster that oh well we'll get the last bait in or out and uh, I think I'm gonna call it so that's the last last cast big crab bait tide's flooding it's not flooding that hard because it's not a particularly big tide but I'm uh, I'm really pleased with how the night's gone it's definitely a new mark for me for the future of this I've been looking at it for a while conditions are good darkness slow water I've had four cod sorry four codlin including the best of the season so far five three just lost again what might have been not a bad lobster. We'll see if we get anything on this last cast, but it's been been a really enjoyable session. Been challenging at times trying to get fishing over those ledges, but it comes with the territory when you're fishing this really rough ground. Well, that's the end of the session. We've been fishing for probably about three and a half hours. 
had four fish, four codlin, best going five, three. Really happy with that. Even better to see it swim away. Typical that the GoPro packed up when I was trying to film that, but never mind. Fish is away and hopefully breeding and continuing the cod population, so that's the main thing. But uh, all the fish came on crab, a little bit of cart at the beginning. Just really, really satisfying to scope out a mark I'd never fished before. And yeah, it came up with a good, so it's definitely one for definitely one for future. Um, and yeah, just really, really happy. Great night, not a breath of wind, loads of stars. Not that I've had much of an opportunity to have a look at them, of course. Um, but yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it. So, and it's not that late either. It's only 20 past eight or so. So get back to the car, get back down to Newcastle. So as always, thanks for watching, subscribing. Please hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment. I will reply. Tight lines, keep fishing, and we'll see you on the next one.